because usually it takes me a thousand hours to get the song right. And he's always saying that. Yeah. And it's kind of funny. So we named the song A Thousand Hours. <laughs> two bass players and then we were like 
maybe we just, maybe we'll just not get a bass player. And we just started playing, and, and then I found this bass pickup, and it's like perfect, you know? I mean, it gives us a fuller sound, I think. It's, it's almost like two pickups in one, like they basically combine the bass pickup in there, and it just picks up And the plus bass I have the other pickup here, so I usually have this pickup on, but I'm using the bass on this one, so it's like. You heard the difference after you said I put my bass on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The quality of the sound. Is yeah. yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. 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 picked up the bass side of the song. Yeah. Here, here, let me do some tuning here. Okay, but while you do that, I'm going to share that uh, the great American playwright, Edward Albee, when they asked him how long did it take you to write, he was afraid of Virginia Woolf. Yeah. It was a slight pause, and he said, a lifetime. Wow. Yeah. So that's yeah. profound. And so is the, I mean, it takes a lot for yeah. this to become that. And that's yeah. called living life. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes people start that. <laughs> This next song is called Change. It's just about, um, I don't know what I was thinking about. Thinking about just changing, changing issues in my life, I guess. And I, I was talking to somebody about my issues, and I came up with this song. It's called Change.
song came to me. It's about finding forgiveness about yourself, you know.
about me being bad. I got, I got two drunk driving charges um, after my divorce and going through these hardships mentally. Um, I just, I didn't have anybody telling me no anymore, and I just kind of got out of control and turned into a drunk. And uh, the first time I blew a point zero eight and I was kind of mad because it's 0.3 over the limit, which is, you know, not much. But then the second one, I ended up crashing my car and don't remember anything. And I wrote a song about it, but I my insurance went up to like a million dollars because <laughs> of the SR-22s. And it took me like four years to get my license back, probably. But... Um, I haven't had a drink for like five years now, so, and I gotta stick to that, you know. I just gotta watch out who I hang out with, and I'm not, I'm really not into it anymore, you know. I think I think getting my license taken away for four years was good, you know. It was an eye opener, you know. And um, if I get another DUI, I'm looking at a mandatory one year. In so that is definitely not something to look forward to. So I just quit drinking, you know. I had a problem. I could finally admit I had a problem, you know. I just, I didn't have somebody telling me no anymore, you know, and I just kind of lost it. But this is a song called Consequence. So it's about getting two D DUIs. <laughs>
This is somehow based on a true story. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> this is a song we made up for Halloween, actually. It's, it's kind of heavy metal. It's a little dark. <laughs>
song's called Showdown, and I, I don't know what it's about. I, it was just a riff. Some instrumental I came up with, we came up with. I made a cool video to go, go with it with some cowboys on it. A shootout thing, it reminded me of a cowboy shootout thing. But,
make him work. I used to really like rockabilly guitar back in the, when was that? The 80s. 80s, 90s. When it came back and it was really big. And I used to like those guitars with the F holes on them. And <laughs> I liked all that stuff. I had a rockabilly haircut and my sideburns down. And, uh, this is a uh, rockabilly jam, I call it. Thank you. 
first song we wrote um, as a band, an original song, Invincible. What do you like your career, yeah. Invincible. And it's about a really crappy drug called crystal meth that's really popular. And it's, it's kind of uh, a reflection of thinking that you're so young and you're invincible and nothing's ever gonna happen to you. Meanwhile, years later, you're taking trips to Mexico to get dental work done and everything else that goes wrong with wasting your life on crappy drugs. <laughs> 